As speculation about Red Bull's power struggle continues, Helmut Marko says he's heading to Japan, and that, or with Red Bull's Thai shareholders, at least, everything is fine. From Christian Horner's investigation to one into Marko's part in the widespread media leaks about it, Red Bull have painted a rather chaotic picture behind the scenes so far this season. Billed as a power struggle in various factions of the media, it has been said to be Marco and Red Bull's 49% ownership of founder Dietrich Mateschitz's family, versus team boss Horner and the Thai side of the business in Chalam Uvijar with his 51%. From initially Horner to then Marco and more recently Max Verstappen, Red Bull's hierarchy is uncertain. To put it politely, back in February, questions were asked as to whether Horner would remain in charge, while more recently, it was Marco and star driver Verstappen's positions that have been uncertain. But while it seems Horner is going nowhere, and based on his comments to add, neither is Verstappen, Marco has also stated he too will remain with Red Bull. I'm flying to Japan, for the Thai shareholders, everything is clear, everything is fine for them, whether anything else will come or not, no idea. It is a very complex matter that is difficult to understand, I would say. There are always conversations and discussions. My direct supervisor is Red Bull CEO Oliver Mintzlaff. Right now we have other concerns than what I'm doing. It's not as if Helmut has a lot of mileage left, so, not sure why it's of anyone's concern what the future at RBR looks like. It won't be with Helmut regardless, which I'm sure the Red Bull CEO is fully aware of. The internal struggles are very much about internal respect. If Horner would push out Marco, the team could fall apart, as some key figures wouldn't accept such draconian disrespect. Marco has built up what we know as Red Bull Racing today. He started the junior program in 1999, before Horner was in the picture. He's always been in the lead of scouting drivers for the team, and was quite successful at it. Horner pushing him out to gain more overall control would have been unacceptable to a certain driver. When Marco's contract end, he can retire.